So, Patrick Cutrone overview here for FM20. And from the get-go, if we look at some of his initial base stats, you can see that this is actually uh, the makings of a really good player in FM and hopefully in real life too. As you can see, the standout attribute, of course, is his determination at a whopping 18, with the, that personality of driven as a result. And that is obviously very good for his future development and the prospect of future growth in doing so. And you can also see that he has an all-round set of pretty solid physicals. He's got decent pace, obviously, he's not the fastest of players, but at the age of 21, I'd say that's a solid start. You know, he's got a bit of longevity in the fact he's got 15 natural fitness, a solid height of 6 foot with 13 strength, not ideal. Perhaps we'll say a target man striker, but if you look at the play him advance forward or even pressing forward, then that's most certainly capable enough, I'd say. And then he's got some really uh, good mentals, especially in the areas where it matters for a striker. As you can see with the fact he's fought in composure, which is most certainly solid at his age, in addition to 16 anticipation, which is quite a standout stat I feel and if you factor that in with the fact he's got 15 off the ball and 15 work rate this man has all the mentals he needs to be a most effective pressing forward that is for certain and then of course it's technicals are perhaps where you could say he's lacking a bit but he's got the 14 heading and the 14 finishing which really for a striker in this game that will get the job done I feel and of course if you want to perhaps play him in advance forward like is very common this year um, the dribbling perhaps lets him down a bit in addition to a perhaps low technique and passing these are his perhaps shortcomings, I feel, um, but I think realistically the fact he's got very strong physicals and very strong mentals for a striker, I feel is a really makes up for that, uh, makes up for these shortcomings in the technicals. But we will see how he does, but from the surface I'd say a solid player to start off with and he's got value of 25 million so if you do want to be signing him, he will cost you a pretty penny, especially the fact he's going to have to be signed after the first season since he's currently on loan and joining at the end but for a starting player very good we'll have a look at the stats so looking at Kutrone here we can see that he's had quite a bit of growth I mean first of all the thing that's standing out to me about this is the value of 55 million that is incredible he's clearly been doing quite well for himself and if we look at his Florentino record you can see that it's not perhaps the greatest thing ever but there's definitely been some prolific spells in that and I'll show you that in his uh, career stats in just a moment. But first of all I'd say to look at his actual stats first and see where the improvements are. Firstly, anticipation off the ball have both improved to now an even more appealing 17 rating. That is absolutely fantastic and all around these metals here are just in general really solid. So. That is actually not just the only improvement, there's actually been in physical improvements as well. Um, I mean, looking at this, he's now managed to get to 15 pace, which I believe he may have been there before, but the agility and balance, the key improvements here, like that is a huge, huge gain. And perhaps some of this may have come from the fact he's now trained in both left and right midfielder, uh, which appears he may have been playing there for Florentina, as shown by the cuts inside from left wing, uh, play preferred move as well. Um, the perhaps downside of this five-year period of growth for Catrone is the fact that his technicals haven't improved too much. Uh, heading has gone up by one in addition to dribbling and first touch. But um, in regards to the stats, it's again relatively average. I mean, there's been, again, minor improvements in passing and technique. But if we look here at his career stats, he has... Well, 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 this is an interesting one. As you can see here in this first season, he did... Oh, not start out too well actually. I mean, 6.64 rating is pretty terrible, if I do say so. Um, but I mean, it's quite the comeback. It's a real gradual improvement over the five year period we've simmed for. I mean, obviously, you only start 13 games in this first year, but this is definitely, there's no real positives here that come to mind. Um, so let's quickly move on to his next season, which is a big improvement. You can see he's now starting 29 games for only one sub appearance, so now he's become clearly a defined starter. And if we look at his improved stats, that is not a bad record. I mean, 6.9, it's pretty average. It's a very average striker performance. There's nothing, there's nothing that really hits out to you here with what we can see here. But it is an improvement, and he's almost doubled stats in both goals and assists. In fact, he's, he's done more than double it, so... That is most certainly a positive, and if you then look at his next season, oh wow, I mean, clearly he's going to, if you want to sign this dude, you have to start Florentina, otherwise you're not going to be able to play him, because 
it's actually two yellow and I apologise for not realising that in the first place. Um, but yeah, this is his first season where he actually has a bit of prolific, prolificness as he reaches double figures for the first time in the league, um, which is absolutely uh, fantastic for him and he's actually got a decent rating for once, I'd say up and above 7 average rating for most positions is most certainly good. So claim maybe less of an influential role in the team, perhaps he's playing up front again this year, whereas this year he was playing on the left midfield, uh, as he's had less play of the matches despite scoring more goals. Um, but all starts. This is a sol this is a solid league season. Again, nothing spectacular, but it's solid. So then if we then look at his next season, this is now season four into the game. This this is where things start to get spicy. I mean, the average rating again. It's another small improvement. It's a small increment, but it's again it's a solid average rating, and 17 goals in 37 league games. That's fantastic. Assists have also improved upon the previous season. He's had more influence over the team with his player of the match performances rising. And generally it's it's magnificent. And obviously, as you can see here, they were clearly in Europe in this season, where he played seven games, scored two goals. That's nothing to perhaps to write home about, but it shows that he can perform on a level in Europe too. You know, if you perhaps got a Champions League or Europa League side, he could be a man. He can do it. And it shows that by the fact he's also got it is now Fifth season in game, 18 goals in 37 games. That's fantastic in Serie A. Six assists too, he's doubled his assists. He's increased his average rating by a margin of 0.1, which is a huge, a huge increase at, uh, once you get past the rating of seven. Like this, this has generally surprised me how well he's done it, especially after the really slow start. So I think generally this is a, it's, it's a really good sign and it shows that Whilst perhaps at the start of the game he may not be a go-to man to have, mid to late game, what well, five seasons in, obviously, mid to late game can vary a lot in uh, FM saves depending on how far you go. But uh, this is an incredible striker we can see here. Well, I think that must also be countered with the fact that he's probably going to be quite difficult to sign, with the fact that you'll have to wait probably more than three seasons until he'd be willing to even join you since he's on loan and then. He signs in the third season, so you probably won't be able to sign him in the same season as that. So you have to wait till the fourth season to sign him. But if it's, if he's perhaps not doing too well, if he perhaps gets transfer listed after that, if he's not doing as well as he was doing in this save and your save, then I feel as though he could certainly be worth a shot, as shown by the fact in this save he managed to do so well. So yeah, we'll just quickly before the episode end, we'll, episode ends, we'll check where Florentino actually finished, give some context to his uh, stats. So. In the first season, they finished in 15th, which may explain his poor performances to some degree. Uh, very small improvement to 14th for next season. Again, this wasn't too good for him. And then, well, 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 uh, Europa League. This was again his first season where he started to actually perform. And then next season, this was a season where he scored quite a few goals still, another improvement, and he only finished 10th, so... What does it tell you again? 10th, it's been table in the final season where he scored a ton of goals again. That was the final season. So, clearly as a mid-table striker, he is very, very solid. And was certainly capable of perhaps hitting it in Europa League. So, yeah, all in all, I'd say a really positive review for him. He is uh, definitely a player I'd consider if I was um, looking for a good striker to have that uh, can hopefully maintain some consistent form and really bang in the goals. Alright, thank you so much.